ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿ ರಾಧಿಕಾರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಪಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತೋರ್ವಶ್ಚಿಂದುಭ್ಯವಚಿತಾನ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಕುಂಗ್ಲಂಹತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈಕೇಶ್ವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಜನ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನಸಪಾಲ್ಯವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಧಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿತ್ತೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಂ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ಪಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ವ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿ ತ್ವಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Kama Dinam Koti Nakoti Dha Palita Durnirdesha Jata Te Shamayina Koruna Natrapano Pasanti Kama dinam koti na koti dha palita durnir desha Jata te shamayina koruna no tropa no posanti Gorya Gostipoti Sisila Bhakti Shidham to Saraswati Goswami Jagar Pahupa Jagar told that this this whole material world this whole material world is actually is burning in fire this is this is material world is just like a burning fire in this uh, eternal happiness to get is very difficult to get eternal happiness is very difficult Prabhupada Jagat Guru told that this material world is just like a burning fire in this, to get eternal happiness is very is next to impossible. To get absolute bliss is uh, impossible. If someone actually wants eternal happiness, then uh, apart from Hari Bhajan, there is no other way. In this material world, it is just like a burning fire. And in this, if someone wants some eternal happiness, then he is foolish, number one. Apart from Hari Bhajan, there is no other way to get that eternal bliss and happiness. That our all our sense organs, who whenever they ask something from me, whenever they ask something from me at any time, I have immediately have given them everything. All my calm desires, lusty desires, whenever they asked me these sense organs, I have given all with my own effort, whatever I have. They don't, this karma actually, this desire, they are just making me as a servant like a dog. Whatever they asked me, whatever they asked me, I had at, every, at any time, I have just given them at that time, immediately. But today, up till now, they haven't actually, these sense organs, they are not actually These material sense organs are not at all happy with me. They are not saying that, okay, we are done. They are actually not merciful on me. So much, so much service I have done onto, the, onto them, to, the, to my sense organs. But still, they haven't uh, given any merciful glance on me. They should be feeling very shy about this point. Why? Because in Bhagavad Ji Mahapurana it is written. And if, if you will if you'll put uh, ghee in fire, then fire will not get vanquished. It will increase rapidly. So that's why in Srimad Bhagavad Ji Mahapurana, uh, this, is, this is a proof that whenever you are putting ghee in the fire, then that will uh, rapidly increase. That if you have some want to just make your material desire to happen, you want to, if you, if you can just by enjoying material desire will get finished, then everyone can do that. Kamana material desires cannot be vanquished by just uh, enjoying them. To get shudder, control over a shudder, six enemies is not that easy. It will just increase like fire every time. 
इट इज इम्पॉसिबल भगवत भजन एक्चुअली अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर इज नो अदर वे बाई विच यू कैन गेट कंट्रोल ओवर दैम टू वन और टू डेज बिफोर आई वॉज जस्ट डिस्कसिंग दिस दैट बाई सर्विंग सदगुरु ओनली दैट वी कैन गेट कंट्रोल ओवर ऑल दिस एंड इफ इफ वी जस्ट टेक द शेल्टर ऑफ सदगुरु एंड वी जस्ट डू सर्विस अंडर द गाइडेंस दैन बट इफ वी गेट सदगुरु ऑल्सो इन आवर लाइफ बट इफ देर इज नो भजन इन आवर देर इज नो प्रोग्रेस इन आवर भजन स्टिल वी आर गेटिंग सदगुरु भजन इज अ वेरी फार डिस्टेंट थिंग स्टिल इन द शास्त्र इट इज रिटर्न दैट आवर अनर्थ इज ऑल्सो नॉट गोइंग बाई रिमूविंग अनर्थ यू हैव टू डू साधु सेवा इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन भागवत जी महाप्रधान ग्लोरिफिकेशन इट इज रिटर्न देर इट इज रिटर्न दोज हु एक्चुअली बाई सर्विंग प्योर गुरु वैष्णव और साधु एवरी थिंग दैट मटीरियल डिजायर दैट लस्टी डिजायर विल गेट वैंक्विस्ट सो टू जस्ट टेक द शेल्टर ऑफ सदगुरु देव and still our anarth is not going bhajan is a very far distant place it means that we are just doing bhajan by name so in this condition i am just uh, you know entangled and shila rupa swami pad also speaking that that in order to get anarth nirmuk when your anarth is getting uh, completely vanquished then only shuddh bhajan is possible apa uh, before that it is not possible so ye baat pakka so this is a uh, permanent point that uh, that person whose whole life is uh, uh, in his life anarth is not gone up till now who hasn't uh, got released from the entanglement of anarth and has not got uh, uh, protection from that anarth then for them uh, hari bhajan is not possible because lot of aparad are done uh, knowingly unknowingly in bhakti ras amrit sindhu a lot of aparad uh, this categories of aparad have all been discussed by rupa swami pad we actually uh, we are not serving guru vaish pure guru vaishnav and bhagwan but we have that enjoying mood on to them on to pure guru vaishnav and bhagwan we have that enjoying mood have that enjoying mood inside our material mind we always think in sub inside our heart and that shri guru hari and bhagwan if uh, they can just uh, give us some sense gratification and can just make some arrangement for a sense gratification then that will be okay for us so why should we uh, do their bhajan we always think like this If they can't do anything for us, Hari Guru Vaishnav, then uh, what kind of Guru Vaishnav they are? What kind of Bhagwan he is? If they can't serve our senses, they can't do something for us. Sense gratification. Prabhupada actually speaking that uh, our the word our which we are using here that we that it is ours and this identification there is a misinterpretation because. they are actually my 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 mind and my uh, subtle body i am thinking that it's mine if i can just understand that uh, what i am in reality then uh, then there will be a big uh, advantage for me if i can just th- uh, realize that uh, i am just an atma and uh, for my all guru vaishnav have just came here just to uh, always uh, busy in making me getting away from this entanglement if this kind of which are just comes inside my mind then definitely i will just uh, I, apart from the service of guru vaishnav and bhagwan there will be no other abhilasha apart from them then it is not possible for me that i will have some uh, other thing apart from serving them inside my mind so to serve Uh, guru vaishnav and bhagwan 
have this attitude service attitude inside our heart is called actual attitude we have some so uh, um, so big enjoying mood towards uh, uh, in the way of our hari bhajan that we are actually just thinking that uh, guru vishnav and bhagwan also that we in the name of the service of them we are just thinking that uh, we always uh, uh, don't serve them but in in reverse we just uh, uh, make them serve us so this is just because of our enjoying mood we don't want to actually serve them but rather in reverse we want that they sh- they we actually ask service from them so that is the most disappoint disappointed point i we actually give lot of uh, pravachan like uh, we just uh, write lot of articles lot of poems and uh, this there's lot of things uh, we are doing in the preaching in the name of preaching we are doing but actually it is just for everything for our uh, magic of pratishtha just to get that pratishtha in return pratishtha is everything for uh, us and if if there is no pratishtha in it then why they will do like this they will not do anything like that this is very difficult point to understand lot of things a uh, lot of the time i'm t- talking about this this point krodha begam jiv abegam mudar pasta begam etano begano jo bish hai to jira sarvam apimam pitimim sasisha kal yahan tak charcha hua yesterday we have discussed up till this point jo that that our udar vek uh, our uh, jiva vek already jagdanand pandit i have uh, that uh, uh, jagdanand pandit prem vivar i have just already explained that about uh, jiva vek what J- jagdanand pandit told that to get the greediness of our tongue is like uh, like the aprakrit jagat rasa there is a judge uh, material rasa as well there are different kind of rasa that is categorized and uh, there are though to just we have some different rasa for the tongue as well like uh, it's a uh, chatpati some uh, um, very sour and very tasty sour and hot and very uh, sweet these different kinds of tongue also has that kind of rasa so because of this like this uh, we are just taking a malpua chana pakoda all this we just want to taste because our tongue always want to taste different different kind of delicious things and if our mind actually is going towards all this then to do hari bhajan is impossible for me because jiva veg is so dangerous that we cannot understand that because if uh, today also we can just control that jiva veg if we can't control that jiva veg at a right time then definitely they will just make us like cats and dogs in the in our upcoming uh, future life because everything is related to jiva veg it is so dangerous you can't even imagine about this that what actually is related with jiva veg with the tongue you can just see in the line of tongue uh, there are eyes then uh, up then there is nose then there is you, then you come down then you can just see your stomach and then down the stomach you will got your anus your sling is there and actually it is in one line you can see so guru varg have already told us this thing that if you want to get uh, control over your tongue like your jiva veg if you somebody has just uh not forcefully but if they have just uh, like in geeta they have told that how to control your jiva veg if someone can control his jiva veg there is one hidden point in this that 
I can't uh, forcefully if I will just uh, make my tongue be silent. In this, no vairagya will be there at least. In turn, in turn of vairagya, something else, something will be done which you can't even imagine in dream as well. I just want to speak this point that forcefully you can't uh, control your material sense organs, and what uh, uh, what result you will get by forcefully uh, by forcefully. Uh, controlling your material sense organs i have already discussed previously forcefully you nobody has nobody is successful by just controlling forcefully controlling their material sense organs but there is one pathway which you have to follow that is that you all already must have known about this point that if you are just giving a higher ras to someone then definitely if if he get some taste then definitely he will just uh, abandon that uh, down uh, downward taste suppose if you are giving some higher rasa to someone then if you are suppose uh, giving 50000 rupees note to someone you are just doing uh, one job of 50000 rupees and then you get uh, offered of 80000 rupees of uh, basic payment plus your accommodation of a flat plus your car facility you are getting then what you will do you will definitely then you will just leave that 50000 rupees job and then you will go and the, that person who is doing actually 5000 rupees job he will just leave that 5000 for 10000 rupees job who is actually taking a, a rotten uh, chapati and if he is getting a very night uh, hot puri then he will just uh, will uh, leave that he is not getting it that's why he is taking that rotten chapati so if we someone so, so those material sense organs if they will get a higher ras mera sath beimani kar raha hai those uh, material sense organs actually are just uh, uh, making distress on me and they are not getting merciful on me and up till now they are not actually i am not getting their mercy on me these material sense organs up till now i am not getting their mercy they are actually not feeling insulted about this okay i have done lot of thing so just leave them now they will not leave me all these material sense organs whatever you will give them they will definitely take on take on and according to that uh, our bonded state will be increasing more and more day by day we will just get our bonded state in more tight position they will not uh, leave us no because they will not leave us at all so that's why arjun has already spoken that this uh, uh, mind is like wind actually to get control over them is impossible where it is very impossible to get control over them so and another pathway is given uh, in bhagavad ji mahapuran when that uh, uh, detest detestful ras in chetanya ji namrit also it is written that person who actually is just taking a, a very bad good and puri and he is just taking a chapati with the good and uh, he is actually he will just leave the previous good and puri because that puri and good is actually taken by go mata it is all it is uh, not valuable and is no and is just detestful but when uh, in the upcoming thing uncoming upcoming time he is getting that khajur good and he is getting a higher ras uh, in his uh, tongue then he is getting nice nice sugar then i uh, getting nice nice candy for his uh, uh, definitely so he is getting a higher ras uh, in tasting and definitely he will just throw the downward ras so what whosoever is getting the upper ras he'll just uh, discard the downward ras prabhupad always used to speak one story in uh, this relation that that if one person is getting a higher ras then he will get higher ras like uh, there is one servant of a zamindar <coughs> there is no servant he is finding very difficult with very difficulty he just uh, get one or two servant because servants are not getting fixed in his job so they are just coming and just quitting the job and uh, after that he was actually discussing with his friend that what i can do i don't have any servant if some servant comes he just stays for 2 4 days and then is going 
then his friend speaking that what you are actually giving them to eat then uh, whatever the food he is saying that uh, they are actually making uh, uh, they i am giving his friend said that you have to just uh, give a very nice food to the servants especially you have to cook a very delicious food for them we have to give them a good food if you will just uh, uh, figure my point you are just taking badam chawal and then you are taking ghee you are taking very nice desi ghee and then you are just taking nice nice delicious things so similarly you also have to give to servant as well those things so what what we will get by just giving them then when you just give them and after 6 months when they will say that uh, i am going uh, you just have to give me more uh, income Uh, so i am can't give this much effort so you just tell him then okay you can go from here after that uh, his badam chawal his rice ghee so he just get habituated to take those nice nice foods because when he'll go outside he will just uh, uh, getting a uh, he'll just get uh, a rice with full of uh, stones and he will just take a muddy muddy uh, muddy dal like bihari people actually in calcutta i have already just seen that all those bihari people actually they are actually just uh, making uh, just uh, driving all the rickshaw by the man made rickshaw and in the evening time they just used to eat uh, all they are just making one chokha some dal and some rice and they are just eating that and they are just doing some kirtan and after they are sleeping so this is the actual uh, rules of them but uh, you just have to give this uh, nice nice food to that servant what will happen then he will just get habituated to that and then he will not drop that uh, manner so uh, the servant actually saying that i am actually going then in that uh, so raminder said okay you can go and then the servant uh, gone there and he is actually not getting that delicious food what he is getting here and then he said uh, came again and said that uh, babu i actually don't want to leave you so then again he is just doing the job so uh, wh- whosoever is getting a very nice thing and he can realize that then why he will go towards a bad thing so it is actually written in the bhagavad ji mahapuran it is already written there that when our tongue is actually getting a, if you can just get control over your tongue then everything will get uh, you will get victory over all sense organs when you are just getting control over your rasna ras then everything will get victory get get over victory over everything like mahaprabhu had told raghunath das goswami pad this already has told mahaprabhu to koraguna that to take very delicious food this is our own disadvantage and to just take nice nice clothes also it is not also good for us only because every uh, others will just feel jealousy about that so just to uh, uh, wear nice clothes is very difficult is very is not good at all mahaprabhu told that to eat more good things rather than it is better not to wear good uh not to wear good clothes because it is more dangerous because uh, uh if uh, forcefully he will just want to control his nice uh, uh, eating then he, his uh, condition will become more worse but if someone actually is there in a bhagavat ras always thinking of that what mahaprabhu told to ragunath das goswami pad actually ragunath das goswami pad actually he is a uh, he has so much vairagya inside his heart but still this vairagya this is not at all a dry vairagya just be careful about this point this vairagya is actually vidya otherwise all other mayavadis that what they are doing external vairagya it that is called dry vairagya but the vaishnavas who are having that vairagya that is actually rasamay vairagya full of rasa that is why that's what written by sarvam bhattacharya vairagya when it will become vidya vairagya vairagya will be also be a vidya yes that vairagya will become vidya that will become vidya when when you will get uh, just uh, deep inside uh, hari bhajan when you will get in deep inside hari bhajan when uh, hari will become everything in our life and apart from hari we don't want anything in life 
then only we just want to uh, just hear and remember the qualities and characteristics of hari that is everything then for him every the for him that uh, viragya will become vidya so to for ragunath das goswami that viragya is vidya but for mayavadi that with that viragya is avidya because his viragya mayavadi is viragya actually it is their bondage we call more and more tight in this material world but those vaishnavas they have satasphurta viragya means that that is not an artificial viragya they are actually this viragya actually is actually uh, touching is touching our uh, material heart material mind means that that by just doing hari bhajan and uh, j- uh, no desire of taking nice delicious food there is not at all in the heart it will remain by doing hari bhajan automatically so vairagya becomes vidya for vaishnavas when when it is connected with bhakti when it is related to bhakti and and if we have no relationship with bhakti then that vairagya will become avidya that will not be vidya so ragunath das ko swami pad in the life of ragunath ko swami pad they have got just a, a superb jewel like they have just get into deep uh, deep ocean of bhagwat ras because they don't want any externally they don't want any nice delicious food they are just taking something which will just uh, be making their uh, uh, body running in a normal way and they are not at all uh, thinking of very good food they are just thinking just how to survive with this body so that's why vairagya will become vidya for them and if and if that rasna become we get victory over that rasna of our tongue then definitely our whole material sense organs will definitely get uh, a victory if our tongue is controlled uh, forcefully we will not uh, control that by just doing uh, actual bhajan he will just be taking some dry things and he he will not be and he will not be taking very uh, nice nice delicious food it's an automatic process bhagwan ka bhajan kabhi nahi chhoda sudhama also have just taken very dry food and hasn't uh, quit the bhajan of and hasn't quit hari bhajan at all because sudhama prabhu has don't have anything to eat if he is getting some dry some things to eat just want to do hari bhajan that's it and because bhagwat if bhagwat bhajan uh, rasa is someone is getting then other rasa no uh, that person will not want at all that's why it is written that uh, all our material sense organs if our material sense organs if we want to get control over them if we have just get control over all the material sense organs if if you are not called jitendriya when you have already get gained victory over all the material sense organs still you are not called jitendriya why because you haven't uh, get victory over the jiva your tongue because it is very important to get victory over tongue you have to get control over your jiva veg then only you will be called jitendriya otherwise not be, be, why because because if you will get a victory over the rasana then everything on then everything will be you will get victory over everything because with udar veg jiva veg is connected to that our tongue our uh, just nice and bad things what you are eating udar veg means that whatever you want to take oh i want to take more food oh you are giving me very less food this is called udar veg so whatever you eat you should eat a lot so there is a connection with the jiva veg with udar veg like i have already told this point they have already discussed this that all our uh, sense organs there is actually directly or indirectly connection with the tongue with our jiva veg <coughs> if we are not getting control over our jiva veg then uh, all our material sense organs can't be controlled but our udar our stomach actually it is uh, there is actually intimate friendship of tongue and uh, udar veg because whosoever is actually eating uh, 
हैविंग दिस इज एन इंटरनल कनेक्शन ऑफ जीवा वेग विद द उदर वेग देर इज अपेशल रिलेशनशिप मोस्टली वी कैन फाइंड दैट दोज हु आर एक्चुअली ईटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ फूड दोज पीपल एक्चुअली दे आर हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ डिजीज दे आर गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ डिजीज दोज हु पर्सन आई हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दोज दे हैव बिकम वैष्णव ऑल्सो इन देयर लाइफ दे आर एक्चुअली वर्किंग एज एन आचार्य दे आर एक्चुअली जस्ट समबडी हैज कॉल्ड इन द हाउस दे आर जस्ट इन द फर्स्ट थ्री टू फोर बैच फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट बैच ही इज एक्चुअली ईटिंग इन ऑन द थ्री बैचिस फर्स्ट बैच सेकेंड बैच थर्ड बैच डॉक्टर हैज टोल्ड दैट यू जस्ट टेक नींबू पानी यू हैव टेकन अ लॉट ऑफ फूड डोंट टेक टू मच I actually have uh, I have that news with me that uh, that one Kiri uh, Maharaj one uh, devotee was there actually for him uh, two bucket of parmanu and two bucket of rasgulla is nothing for him and I was just thinking that where it is going <laughs> how much uh, capacity he has in his stomach so that he can eat too much and those who are actually taking bucket after bucket of parmanu and they are taking rasgulla packet then now actually doctor speaking that you can't uh, do, you can't take anything now you have to take nimbu pani and just one chapati in a day now actually now if you can just uh, think about this point that those who have that udar vek those who want that those who have some greediness of their tongue and want to eat more you can just have a statistics about them then you if you have that capacity you can just think that those who have that greediness of tongue that those who always want to eat more they always have some kind of disease inside their body and those who are actually eating too much food if he is actually poor it is having more trouble for him if he is poor because those who are actually taking lot of food they are lazy also they don't want to do anything they just want to get to sleep and their uh, uh, all material sense organ become inactive and his kama and desires lusty desires will get increase those persons who are not actually they just want to get sleep they they will just uh, kama will increase and their body will body heat will be more so jiva veg every all other sense material sense organs are connected with it especially udar veg and uh, jiva veg are connected to uh, intimately with each other and if that jiva veg is just uh, going on increasingly rapidly then we have to just uh, uh, follow the asat pantha just be careful about this point in order to control our tongue if we just got getting if we are just giving support to the jiva veg normally actually we are just we have uh, chapati and something we have <coughs> but if we just uh, normally if, if my if my uh, if my life is going in a normal way and if some jiva veg is in, uh, indulge in it then i am if i am just getting two chapati in a day i am just getting satisfied then there is no problem but if i have that uh, pressure of jiva veg in then in order to support that jiva veg i have to just follow that asat pantha i have to just go and just have to uh, theft some ghee and i have to just with cleverness smartness i have to just uh, get something from someone so he will uh, because this jiva veg will not stop because and with the cleverness and smartness just you have to make uh, some different kind of people should come and just give him different different kind of stuff to eat and those to those people where you are going whether they are actually sat or asat from which you are actually asking something to eat so there is actually the formation of sat- asat sang as well i have already seen in uh, already seen in vrindavan that in in each and every bhandara every brahmachari is going uh, there knowingly or unknowingly whosoever is calling them or not and even in the marriage also uh, there are so uh, foolish people also they are actually just changing their clothes and uh, like uh, a marriage person he is actually going there and eating he is actually not a person who is called for that marriage but still he is uh, taking some good uh, clothes and just going there to so in order to eat something 
<coughs> so just want to say that all those brahmachari sanyasi if they are just getting greedy of eating more and more food then definitely that vasana of eating more food and in order to support his jiva a uh, greediness of his jiva his tongue then he is actually has to take a uh, uh, disadvantage of that because he is going in bhandara everywhere and he is actually giving a uh, taking a satsang with each and every possibility of satsang will be more with each and every person he will definitely go there because it is actually intimately linked with it so those persons who are eating uh, more food the, then you have to give it uh, more uh, then uh, more food has to be uh, then more food has to be uh, we have to get it from different sources if we will be eating more food and jagdanand pandit is also speaking जगदानंद पंडे स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट दैट दैट वैरागे इज ऑलवेज डूइंग संकीर्तन एंड ही इज जस्ट आस्किंग समवन टू फॉर समथिंग टू इट एंड रघुनाथ दोस्त रघुनाथ दोस्त वैन लीविंग हिज हाउस वैन ही वेंट कम टू पुरी टू गौरंग महाप्रभु then he uh, uh, he actually standing at the uh, singadwar at the night time when panda actually just closing the uh, door of uh, jagannath he just you they just used to give some bhiksha of mahaprasadam to <coughs> raghunath das goswami pad and raghunath das goswami pad actually just standing near the singadwar with a bhiksha vritti always has to take some prasadam and just uh, maintain his life and after that when mahaprabhu actually asking swarup da mother where actually what how ragunath actually is taking food now taking prasadam <coughs> you just tell me now how ragunath actually taking prasadam nowadays then actually prabhu actually he is actually standing at the singadwar and actually taking some bhiksha and uh, just taking whatever pandal uh, people pandal people panda persons used to give them he used to take and after that uh, after so many days when uh, ragunath was swami he just left by left standing there at singh dwar also then mahaprabhu also asking swarup da mother second time that now what kind of uh, food he is uh, taking now actually he is not uh, standing in singh dwar now yes actually he is actually he actually is not feeling well by standing in singh dwar he is like just like a vaishya he is just taking prasadam there <coughs> it is just like a, a vaishya that he is standing there and taking now how he is taking food now now actually is going to the chhatra no there is one chhatra there in chagannath so there actually he is going then mahaprabhu singh okay okay then it is good he is taking prasadam there after that he is taking there whatever bhiksha is getting in chhatra prasad he is taking oh that okay that's good and after that some days after 2 4 months mahaprabhu actually asking how i have heard that he is actually not taking the food in chhatra also he is actually thinking that if someone someone must have given us so he is actually thinking raghunath that uh, it is better that i have to just uh, uh, eat a lot of food there so it is not madugari actually so then he said then actually he has done right he, it's good actually he is just maintaining his life how is maintaining his life actually maharaj he is actually what outside the jagannath temple where actually all the panda people actually just uh, excessive prasadam actually wet they can't uh, uh, send to the other persons they are just uh, they are just actually uh, leaving leaving that prasadam in front of the door of the jagannath and those who actually is cows and all every those uh, cows uh, who are not taking that prasadam he just used to take that uh, rice prasadam from there and th- then he used to just wash it wash it and after that by putting salt he used to take then mahaprabhu becomes so happy so happy with this then you can't even imagine oh he used to take this prasadam oh, so nice he whatever prasadam was uh, just uh, outside the jagannath temple gate he has to whatever whatever go mata is not eating he has to take that food rice and just uh, by washing it and taking some salt he used to take and mahaprabhu one day what happened this is not actually a story what i am speaking mahaprabhu actually uh, forcefully actually going to raghunath das ko swami pad and just taking that prasadam from his hands and just taking it forcefully 
<coughs> taking one handful and just by taking forcefully from his hand and taking and speaking that's so nice prasadam i haven't taken in my whole life mahaprabhu speaking to ragunath das goswami i have taken new new kind of prasadam every day but this kind of prasadam i haven't taken up till now so then uh, again when uh, uh, when mahaprabhu taking it again then swarup dam other goswami speaking oh it's not for you mahaprabhu don't take it why you are actually stopping me swarup स्वरूप दामोदर वाई यू आर एक्चुअली स्टॉपिंग मी टू टेक प्रसाद दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रसाद आई हैव सीन इन माय होल लाइफ इट मींस व्हाट दैट महाप्रभु दिस इज एक्चुअली द अप्रूवल ऑफ महाप्रभु दैट रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी पाद द वैराग्य ऑफ रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी पाद इज नॉट एन आर्टिफिशियल वैराग्य दिस इज नॉट आर्टिफिशियल इन कृष्ण भजन दिस काइंड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ रस स्वादन this kind of rasa swadan will also you will get that automatically that material rasa uh, will automatically will get uh, will leave you there is no force forcible attitude like this automatically that material rasa will leave you <coughs> sanatan goswami ji goswami roop goswami ragunath das goswami everything is written about them no in uh, in the shastra in the chaitanya chitamrita chaitanya bhagavat about this that every time they used to do kirtan and they don't they don't have anything to eat and uh, all the time they are just doing uh, hari kirtan they are all the time busy in hari kirtan it means that that they are getting that unnat ras that automatically that lower ras that is uh, rubbish ras like garbage that ras they will automatically discard so auto that they already got uh, uh, victory over their sleep and they are eating how they are getting victory just by doing hari bhajan you can't even imagine about this point when you haven't seen this practically in someone's life then you will not get uh, uh, 100% trust on this i have already in vrindavan in anandgudi in an- anandgudi village in vrindavan actually i was just used to do madhukari there of of some chapati and i in suryakund also i used to speak bhagavatam in front of surya bhagwan how actually my heart is just there in hari bhajan how possible i don't know how my day is going for now just uh, morning and then uh, evening all the time i used to do hari katha of krishna i always used to uh, speak hari katha in front of uh, krishna only one god brother actually forcefully went there and how actually i used to do bhajan how actually i used to stay there and how to do how used to, uh, also he is getting some madhukari prasadam there as well so it is actually natural in hari bhajan that uh, that with a very humble mood inside your heart then whatever your uh, uh, sleeping eating everything will become so controlled because there is no because there is no time for them for eating also you don't have any time to eat chapati also and at the time last time also goswami has just made that there is one uh, dona one pot of matha one pot of uh, curd milk that he also used to drink uh, alternate days like not on every day like yogurt with uh, he used to take uh, on alternate days like only one pot and he used to just uh, take it with the uh, brajwasi he used to take it from brajwasi madhukari how it is possible it is not at all possible how it is possible then prabhupad speaking that prabhupad actually just making when nice boiled uh, something and uh, he is just uh, putting it on the floor without his hands uh, he is just like go grass with his mouth only he is taking that prasadam which is impossible to take for every other person like a cow he used to take and all the time krishna naam is going on inside if someone will just imitate this point then everything will be get destroyed in their bhajan life those heart those who have their uh, mind always control and always in hari bhajan and just by doing hari bhajan uh, everything will get controlled everything is possible so this is the proof here that 
जस्ट नाइक टू टेक टू मच प्रसादम टू मच फूड दैट जीवा वेग एंड दैट उधर पस्त वेग आर इंटीमेट है इंटीमेट फ्रेंडशिप रिलेशन भी रीच अदर एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी जस्ट टोल्ड यू अबाउट जीवा वेग एंड दोस हुज हैविंग देयर जीवा वेग एंड उधर वेग बोथ दिस वेग हैव इनसाइड देम देन फॉर देम डेफिनेटली ही विल बी हैविंग काम इनसाइड हिम he is don't have any calm it doesn't it is not possible definitely he will be having some lusty desires inside him definitely he will be have this uh, material karma inside his heart of this there is no doubt definitely there is a material he is actually servant of material uh, karma by udrapast vek and mahajans also has spoken about this point okay now someone actually has something of eating more food and they are actually greedy of their tongue of taking nice nice food okay they have some material karma as well but the thing is that rup goswami pad has already has arranged this thing arrange has done done some arrangement this upadesh amrit for us if we can just do the in depth analysis of this then with the krishna mahaprasadam seva with ekadashi by uh, doing ekadashi everything will get controlled by doing a krishna seva everything you will control get control over this by just doing ekadashi adi vrat if you will do that and you all do under the guidance of guru vishnu we are doing krishna seva akadashi adi means whatever other uh, fast also coming janamashtami radhashtami all these fast are coming apart from akadashi you have to follow this and with krishna seva under guidance of sadguru vishnu definitely you will get control over this udra veg udar 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 vast veg and if udar veg is getting control then definitely by just getting control over your udra veg then your upast veg your pressure of your ling will automatically get control apne automatically it will get control so jiva veg udra udra veg and upast veg they are on in one line they are actually brothers like brothers everything is linked with one another so udra upast veg that uh, the pressure of the ling uh, the it is of two 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 kinds it is one legal and one illegal and prabhupa speaking this point those actually those who are actually aged people or those who are adults they are actually in the sansar and in ghar uh, in grahast actually they are they have to just do some association but in a regulated way and what will happen that that grahast grahast person will according to the shastra vidhi they are actually going against the shastra vidhi and if someone will go against the shastra vidhi then they will just become like cat and dog if they are actually quitting the shastra vidhi and rules regulations of shastra and they are just uh, uh, making a ghar ghar grahasti for them then it is just like cat and dogs then they are thinking that uh, they are just uh, getting uh, control over their sense organs and at the same way that i am getting uh, some enjoyment so i can also enjoy so in grahastha ashram it is not like that the most uh, difficult thing is uh, grahastha ashram because all every enjoying uh, enjoying facilities are there in front of you but you should have that controlling inside your heart there are like these kind of thing with two two thing accord ved chesta means according those who are following the shastrik injunctions and at the same time they are doing bhagavad bhajan and those who are actually not doing bhagavad bhajan okay they those to what they want to do it's it's their choice <coughs> but those who are actually not doing hari bhajan they will not get uh, control over their sense organs of this there is no doubt about it so ved chesta and aved chesta ved chesta and the category of ved chesta if someone is doing some marriage he is doing bhagavad bhajan then he will just get control over his sense organ then definitely his udrapast veg and jiva veg will get control automatically that is not a big question but the person who is in aved aved upast veg those who are not following according to the vedic shastra and they are not following that and they are just uh, 
uh, doing uh, sexual injunctions with the they are just going to the other quarter and just doing a women association with them that is not at all good so this kind of eight different kinds of uh, indriya sukh they are just going to enjoy in this this kind of different kind of uh, ma- different material sensual enjoyments these kind of are strictly prohibited which are actually irregulation uh, in the enjoying mood of their uh, material sense organs then definitely he will not get control over his sense organs material sense organs and because they is actually giving them freedom to do whatever they want to do so just by following the material uh, uh, material just by following the vedic injunctions in the shastric injunctions and just by following them if we he will control his material sense organ that will be okay then only he can uh, get out of that so vedic and ved upastavek i have already told you I have just told you about Jagdhanan Pandit. What Jagdhanan told. I don't. I will just touch this point. भालो ना खाई भी आर भालो ना पुरी भी हृदय ते राधा कृष्णो सेवा छतो तो सेवी भी ऐसा विचार है। All these विचार are already discussed. So in this already to discuss that uh, with the forceful mood and with forceful attitude and other is automatic. Automatically it will get rectified. So two kind of processes uh, are written. <coughs> in Gita also it is written. Uh, this kind of uh, thing is actually coming in Gita as well. Bhagwan actually speaking. By your external material sense organs, just to get control over them, just to make a drama of that you have control your material sense organs. That that inside his mind, he is actually. those who are just making externally drama of making their material sense organs that they have controlled them and by their external acharan they are just showing that they have dramatically control their uh, material sense organs with kapat mood as they are just showing this to the whole material world and then bhagwan actually speaking here so what will happen they actually with these material sense organs they are actually just uh, uh, they are just making fool of them that's it this is actually mithya char they are actually uh, fooling everyone just by externally they are just doing drama so forcefully to get control over your material sense organs forcefully to get control over material sense organs you will get a negative result out of that so that's why by yukta vairagya only slowly and steadily you just need to go ahead and you have to just control your prasadam you just have to take mahaprasadam offer to krishna it is already written there in the kirtan prasad means that by your ears you have to just take katha prasadam by your eyes you have to take your darshan prasadam and with your uh, by your tongue you have to take uh, bhagwan's uh, maha prasadam bhog prasadam you just have to taste and with your vacho vek by just uh, you just have to indulge in katha kirtan only your f- feet your toes should also be engaged in the parikrama of bhagwan and your hand should be there in the uh, cleaning the temple of bhagwan so in this way everything when will be indulged in bhagwat seva then everything will get controlled automatically forcefully you don't need to control them so that's why prabhupada actually used to 
speaking about yukta vairagya he has told us about many things about yukta vairagya those who are actually uh, everything you can indulge in bhagavad seva whatever you can indulge in bhagavad seva that actually if you are just uh, indulge it in bhagavad seva that is good that thing that thing if you are actually just throwing it just to show that you have vairagya that is not yukta vairagya those things which are actually used for bhagavad seva that only for them to just uh, quit them is not good those things which are good for uh, anu- anukul for uh, bhagavad bhajan that you should not uh, leave or you should not quit and you are actually just quitting all the vishay all the material things <coughs> that is not good mahaprabhu actually just has uh, shown us lot of leela when raghunath das ko swami pad kya uh, what he can do that uh, his father actually giving a lot of money and he has just sending lot of servants and where my actually my boy is you just uh, uh, whatever he needs you just need to give him everything what he requires then raghunath das ko swami pad actually he is not taking anything for himself he actually is ragunath uh, was thinking that if i will just be taking this money from my father if i will just use it for bhagavad seva then that will be good that's why ragunath was so bad actually he has to what the money sent by his father whatever with whatever money sent by his father to him he actually use it for chaitanya mahaprabhu he has to give nimantran uh, to chaitanya mahaprabhu so that chaitanya mahaprabhu can take prasadam at his place he always used to give nice nice prasadam to mahaprabhu by that money but after sometimes what happened after after sometimes what happened that ragunath was going path has just uh, uh, he has just uh, he has just stop giving nimantran to gorang mahaprabhu after sometimes what uh, i don't know what kind of uh, 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 feeling he got uh, after after that actually mahaprabhu actually he is just uh, doing everything but actually chaitanya mahaprabhu by his own leela he is actually showing asking swarup da modar goswami that actually uh, why ragunath uh, is not uh, asking me to take prasadam to at his place then swarup da modar goswami is speaking that prabhu actually he, by he actually thinking ragunath das goswami thinking a lot and then he is thinking that prabhu actually used to love me that's why he actually with in relationship with me he is uh, not actually Uh, leaving me and he is not uh, uh, speaking anything to me whenever i used to ask prabhu to come here that i will not take prasadam there why because he loves me that's why so then he was thinking uh, very deeply about this point that gorang mahaprabhu loves me that's why he is not then ragunath us swami ko swami pad actually uh, left the nimantran given to gorang mahaprabhu and uh, gorang mahaprabhu asking that why he is actually not calling me for taking prasadam there then swarup da mudra ko swami actually tapes speaking that actually he is actually just thinking a lot about this point that if prabhu actually that for me only because he uh, loves me and he has that ahet to grip on me and just for me only actually uh, just because of me he is actually accepting my nimantran he is uh, uh, accepting my nimantran but but from heart actually uh, gorang mahaprabhu is not liking this that i am calling him to take prasadam <laughs> now swarup da adar ko i am actually uh, now speaking to gorang mahaprabhu that uh, after uh, so much in depth thinking he is actually thinking that uh, gorang mahaprabhu loves me so that why he is actually uh, accepting my nimantran but inside his heart this kind of nimantram he is not getting that anand inside his heart ragunath das goswami pad thinking about gorang mahaprabhu because he knows that my father is actually material and he is giving me different different kinds of uh, prasadam i am arranging for prabhu just by that money only but, but prabhu is actually not feeling good about this 
that's why uh, Raghunath actually has just to quit Dhani Mantra. After that, Mahaprabhu become very happy. After very happy after uh, listening to this. And then he said that, yes, he actually got it right. Raghunath actually is just uh, getting it right. Because by, by taking the Anna from materialistic persons, Definitely your your heart will become uh, devoid of Krishna Bhajan. If you can't understand then practically you just eat from a materialistic person. I have just taken it, it is already tested uh, practically in my life as well. This is not artificial. I have already have just uh, realized this practically in my life. That if slightly, if th- now actually not I am getting, Pre- previously before 8 to 10 years back or like 15 to 20 years back I am speaking if I am just uh, everyone everyone is taking prasadam okay I am also taking when after that taking prasadam what kind of different different kind of that uh, what kind of attachment I have in Hari Bhajan and Hari Nam automatically I can understand uh, up till this point also if some who is not he is kind of a theft person also he is not a good person he is actually I actually has done Kripa on him previously but after that he is just get into fallen condition now actually he has come uh, forcefully and I have just given some uh, snehe to him and what happened then some uh, uh, some uh, some some prabhav was there on my naam at that day I was just thinking uh, like uh, some heaviness came uh, when I was doing Hari Naam at that day so you see so with what mentality he is actually giving me that thing why he is giving me that what is the reason why he is giving then I have to just think and with the full uh, intellect I have to just think of that there is one uh, seat of Kanpur I will not just speak about his uh, is actually just given me Nimantran there I just went there and uh, there actually I went for Harikatha Om Prakash also went there everyone gain, went there I just speak on Harikatha and after that they said you just take Prasadam here and after that what I can do because I can't take Prasadam there if I will speak no then a lot of problem will be created then what I have taken I have taken some fruits I have just taken some mithai some sweet out of that and after that I just left where actually uh, to fight with somebody is not at all good so that's why just taking some sweet or something in my hand not taking that and this is a Mahaprabhu actually speaking this right 100% when Mahaprabhu actually heard that this kind of bhav is actually coming inside heart of Raghunath that with the father's money actually he is uh, making nimantran for Gorang Mahaprabhu for eating, give, giving him nice nice food but actually Prabhu is not getting that anand inside his heart that why he is just uh, left uh, giving you nimantran that Mahaprabhu become happy and said that that's correct yes he get it correctly that we actually think that uh, someone has given us donation that he then he definitely he'll be a Vaishnav. We always used to think this that he is actually giving so much donation that actually he is Vaishnav. You can just take food out of that. But Mahaprabhu actually is not uh, speaking like this. Prabhupada also not speaking like this to us. But Prabhupada actually Mahaprabhu in not actually it is reverse for me. But actually Mahaprabhu given us the right direction. Mahaprabhu actually speaking Mahaprabhu actually not speaking that he is giving lot of donation in Shantipur Navadvip Dham he is giving lot of donation to Vaishnavas and all sugar, rice, wheat, ghee like ton ton of ghee and rice so much of Bhandara he is giving actually uh, in Navadvip Shantipur to all people because uh, uh, because there is uh, sufficient amount of money with him Mahaprabhu actually speaking that 
दिस इन जगन्नाथ मिश्र ऑल्सो एंड अब दैम हिज ससुर ऑल्सो दैट द फादर ऑफ सची माता नीलाम्बर चक्रवर्ती रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी पाद फादर एक्चुअली जस्ट सेंडिंग ऑल काइंड ऑफ भिक्षा एक्चुअली सेंडिंग देयर एज वेल बट स्टिल महाप्रभु एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग हैवन स्पोकन दिस पॉइंट दैट रघुनाथ फादर ही इज अ वैष्णव महाप्रभु डिडेंट फॉर हिज होल लाइफ स्पोकन दिस पॉइंट दैट ही इज अ वैष्णव महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग दैट ओके ही इज अ वैष्णव ही इज एक्चुअली वैष्णव प्राय ही इज एक्चुअली एन इंसेक्ट ऑफ मटीरियल मटीरियल इंसेक्ट He is actually a stool. He is actually an insect of a stool of that material uh, insect. So he has just done so much service for. Uh, but actually, Mahaprabhu speaking, that is not the correct service. It looks like it is service, but actually it is not seva. Because for our own Bhagwat Bhajan, whatever is uh, you are giving, that is okay. But whatever donation he has given, okay, you are giving it so much, uh, giving it to. Donation because you have lot of money, but Mahaprabhu has then told that Ravana's father is a Jetha is very big Vaishnav. Mahaprabhu speaking that he is actually Vaishnav Pray. He is not Vaishnav. He looks like a Vaishnav, but he is not actually Vaishnav. Like he has done seva of Haridas Thakur as well. So just to understand this, after understanding all this, then all the ghost of our material mind will just get off. and we will just understand what is actually goswami and who is godas who is actually under his who is under the control of his own material sense organs who is that is called godas and he is ajitendriya those actually who have actually just control get victory over their material sense organ they are actually goswami and if they are goswami then they can uh, get uh, uh, control over the whole world as well if he is goswami and because if he has become goswami he don't have his own self interest and he don't have that uh, greediness in him then only he can just get control over this material world he can con- because he is actually goswami and without ke swami no one can uh, do can get control over this material world because then they will get will, get, will get a reverse uh, fruit of their own activity that's why prabhupad speaking that all those go swami gons all our six go swamis all narottam das thakur are all actually go swami ye sarva goswami these sarva goswami is actually they they are actually out of all the shadow repus shadow wakes all those six enemies they have just acquired acquired siddhi over them they are actually just out of this uh, they are not under these uh, material sense organs ka they are out of these uh, they are out of these shadow uh, repus all are goswamis and uh, and those who are actually godas who are actually ajitendri they are actually maya das definitely they are maya das servants of maya and uh, to become a krishna bhakt to become a krishna bhakt uh, goswami to get the anugatya of goswami there is no other way so so goswami guns they are actually servants they are actually servants of lord krishna all those goswami are actually servant of krishna and goada godas actually maya das so to become a krishna bhakt you need to get the charanugatya of all the goswamis about uh, apart from that apart from that there is no other way those uh, whose material sense are gone not at all controlled they cannot do any uh, guru vishnu seva and hari seva like prahlad maharaj already told this point mitho bapade to ki bhavatanam adanto gobir vishatan tamisham punah punah charvito charvana 
नौते विदु there are a lot of slokes actually Parlan Maharaj speaking and uh, about this and now so in order to do Bhagavad Bhajan we have to just control our uh, whole material sense organs and to we have to get out of those Shadri Pus which is very much important so that's why I've already described it in uh, details about that and to get control over the Shadavag six enemies when you are in the bondage of Shadaripus when you are in the bondage of that when you are at in the tight bondage of that uh, Shadaripus then there it is a lot of difficulties in his life there is no uh, happiness in his life definitely he will get uh, uh, difficulties in his life today or tomorrow definitely the difficulties will come in his life so that's why to just to get control over your sense organs and in order to get rid of this materialistic sense organs and to get rid of all these shuddery push so that you can just uh, uh, put all these sense organs into Krishna Seva into different different Bhagavad Seva slowly steadily you can see that they will just get control and then the actual Seva can uh, be done by body speech and mind like thy body speech mind how you will you can get control over them watch a wave with the to all these kind of six six kinds of waves you will definitely control slowly and steadily and uh, by doing bhagavad seva so to be a krishna bhakta Prabhupada speaking actually Prabhupada is speaking that uh, it's not like that that uh, that to do with bhakti this uh, actually is related with bhakti this is not the case with direct bhakti it is not at all related Prabhupada speaking that don't think that uh, all these kind of six six vagues they don't have any direct relationship with bhakti but when uh, to uh, to get bhakti it is it is very important to get control over but if you want to get bhakti then it is important to get control over this shadaripus while uh, just taking bhakti inside your heart for those immature bhakti it is very important to just uh, control over them otherwise they will uh, be in the fallen condition prabhu speaking uh, that don't uh, get it wrong that all these uh, shad shad shadripu you just control get control over that whatever i have just uh, said a lot of things about this actually those who are ukta means this this kind of uh, vishay of shadripu is what i have already talked and what i am talking about about the six enemies and the shitter shadripu to get control over you should try to do uh, control this you should try to control this because bhagavad bhajan cannot be done directly that uh, if you think that uh, to get control over the shadru means to do bhagavad bhajan that is not the case i have already described all this is it is not bhakti sadhan but it is in order to get into the mandir into the temple of bhakti you need to uh, get control over this in order to qualify to enter the uh, temple of the bhakti that is the eligibility criteria so without that eligibility criteria you can't enter uh, the realm of bhakti if you want to get entry inside the bhakti temple temple of bhakti these are the eligibility criteria to get control over the shadri pus in karma mag in kyan mark Gyan mark everything is there in this shadri pus shadri pus how to control them but in our sadhan bhakti it is also important there also in karma and gyan mark there also it is uh, just uh, talking about the shadri pus that you have to get control over all this uh, six uh, ripus you need to get control over all the shadri pus but still we have some unique uh, point regarding them in sadhana bhakti so whatever whatever the sadhan pranali uh, what the devotees are actually have to follow this sadhan pranali in order they are just following this uh, 
दे कैन जस्ट डू श्रवण कीर्तन नाम नाम संकीर्तन धाम परिकर एवरीथिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड साक्षात दर्शन सो जस्ट टू गेट कंट्रोल ओवर दे षड रूपी सिक्स एनिमीज एंड सिक्स षड वेग दिस प्रसंग इज इट इज नॉट एक्चुअली डायरेक्ट भक्ति दिस इज नॉट कमिंग इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ साधन भक्ति बट इन ऑर्डर टू एंटर द टेम्पल ऑफ भक्ति इन ऑर्डर टू एंटर इन द टेम्पल इट इज द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फॉर द टू एंटर इन टू द टेम्पल ऑफ भक्ति इन कर्म मार्ग इन ज्ञान मार्ग इन एवरी मार्ग दिस काइंड ऑफ षड वर्ग एंड षड रिपोस सिक्स काइंड ऑफ वेग एंड सिक्स काइंड ऑफ एनिमीज देर इज रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन टू गेट कंट्रोल दैम वेदर इट यू आर फॉलोइंग कर्म मार्ग ज्ञान मार्ग एवरीवेयर योग मार्ग वेद वॉट एवर मार्ग यू फॉलो यू हैव बट दोज पीपल लाइक वी आर जस्ट फॉलोइंग सो सो मच थिंग्स इन द भक्ति मार्ग भक्ति पैथ वे बट इन द ज्ञान मार्ग वे एंड बट इन ज्ञान मार्ग एंड कर्म मार्ग दे हैव अ डिफरेंट विचारधारा रिकॉर्डिंग हाउ टू कंट्रोल दे शड शड वर्ग रिपुस वॉट एवर द विचारधारा दे हैव वी वी एक्चुअली विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट दोज विचार इट इज नॉट फॉर अस बिकॉज दे हैव अ ड्राइव इर आज्ञा वी विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट दैट दोज हु आर फॉलोइंग कर्म मार्ग ध्यान मार्ग ज्ञान मार्ग एक्चुअली दे आर दे आर ऑल्सो फॉलोइंग शर्ट रिपोज हाउ टू गेट कंट्रोल ओवर दैम बट हाउ दे एक्चुअली टीचिंग दैट दैट साधन प्रणाली वी इट इज नॉट फॉर द गोडियर डिबोटिस वाई because uh, it it is not at all uh, these rules will not be get followed by those pure godi devotees krishna naam roop charitra anand and anusmaran is actually bhakti this is actually called bhakti this is actually called sakshat bhakti itself so, so while just following the pathway of the bhakti this rup goswami pad actually just speaking that why you have to control all the shad ripus and shad vegs why rup goswami is speaking about this why rup rup goswami giving importance to this point there is a reason behind this that that in order to get uh, bhakti in order to just adapt the pathway of bhakti why rup goswami pad is giving first priority to all these uh, uh, is giving to this because because this is actually not the uh, limbs of bhakti but still in order to get uh, the eligibility criteria to get into bhakti it is very much useful and uh, it is uh, actually uh, in order to uh, uh, get anushilan of bhakti it is very much important and in the pathway of bhakti anushilan all the shadved can come and they those immature devotees will get uh, destroyed in the way of the bhakti bhakti ka unusilan ka samay ye jo chho kisim ka shorobeg hai ye apakka atat immature sadhu ko sadhu ko iska liye bhayankar hangama macha that will be very dangerous for an immature devotee bhakti unusilan ka so in the way of the bhakti anushilan agar aaya so it is very important to get to control over this sadhu ko kya karega it will Aadha just they will just become a, a block for that uh, devotee in the way of their sadhan so in that in in that condition what devotee will do they will they will definitely we use they will definitely be doing 10 kinds of naam aparadh and uh, they just be having the kripa of uh, pure guru vaishnav and bhagwan and just by taking their shelter they can get rid of all of this they will just get rid of all of this then definitely all those shudder vegs and repose will definitely automatically go off by the association of pure devotees pure sadhu guru vaishnav and bhagwan it will get eliminated from the life from the life of a sadhak automatically so in this way slowly and steadily bhakt sarvabhik ka bhakt always all those shadvegs and repose 
these kind of uh, the prabhav they having they can just go out of the prabhav of the shadavaks that is the actual uh, system written arrangement of how to get out of this now we will be just talking like all these uh, all these vegas six kind of vega they are actually the all controlled and by the shad ko by the ko swami that who is actually ko swami who has actually controlled all the shad vegas and he can just uh, uh, get reign over the whole world he has just got that um, uh, right to just get uh, control over this whole world otherwise other don't have that right to do the such thing but those devotees who but those uh, jeevas who just come in the way of this uh, bhakti marg because this in this this world this sansar is is just like a fire it is just like a pariksha khetra for us and prabhupad ji bhakti sansar sri prabhupad told that all this sansar samaj is just like a testing is like a testing field for us and different kind of testing is done uh, by maya devi and those who are actually fail and then they will be get lost in this material world and those who will get success in their life definitely they will get out of this so what is the actual uh, what is anukulya for bhakti and what is pratikul not to, not good for bhakti this actually is written here and in the second shlok it is written This is the second shlok of Upadesh Amrit. They have already told about the shatter repose, and uh, in the second shlok, uh, how that is all the kind of six different vegas they have just discussed that all these vegas they have discussed Rup Goswami path, and those who have controlled these shatter vegas, that is Goswami. Now in the second shlok, it is written. that here here there one question comes that maharaj why it is speaking atyahar again here why they are speaking atyahar again now actually you have already talk talking already uh, spoken about food that you should not take too much food atyahar if someone will just uh, making some question Uh, that uh, why you are already talking about udar vega and udarpast vega then why again you are just uh, talking about uh, you have already spoken about this point in the first shloka but now again you are just uh, talking about this atyahar that to take take tea, taking too much food what does it mean actually again actually here it is just written about atyahar why it is written about atyahar actually our go swami the vishuna chakravarti pad and all our guru varg has told that actually here actually atyahar means this is not actually food it is not directly food related to food then what it is then actually it is actually whatever all the sense organs they are just doing a different kind of enjoyments whatever they are taking enjoyment in different different objects if they are taking they are just taking more than their actual capacity whatever object they are enjoying and even if they are taking money if they are taking too much money then it's not good if you have too much land for their living that is also bondage that thing that object which is not at all so much useful for you especially in hari bhajan it is not that uh, too much things are not at all uh, used and to just collect it more uh, more than your capacity then that is called atyahar kisne taro bishay sangroh kara bhagya jiber ekta mul vyadhi prabhupad ji ne bataya prabhupad ji actually speaking this point that for krishna bhakta this is not actually anukulya uh, it is actually a pratikula vishay for uh, devotees so tomorrow i will actually just discuss about this point in total and now i'll just t- talking about this question that 
यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्पोकन ऑन जीवा वेग उधर वेग बट नाउ वाई यू आर जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट अत्याहार नाउ अगेन वॉट इज दिस अत्याहार डेफिनेटली दिस अत्याहार में भी दिस गोस्वामी पाद रूप गोस्वामी पाद हैज जस्ट अगेन इट इज नॉट अ मिस्टेक ऑन वाई रूप गोस्वामी पाद एक्चुअली इज नॉट मेकिंग एनी मिस्टेक बाई जस्ट स्पीकिंग अत्याहार बिकॉज रूप गोस्वामी पाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग हेयर दैट दैट दोज हु आर जस्ट टेकिंग मोर देन देयर कैपेसिटी वॉट इज नॉट बींग यूजफुल फॉर दैम दैट इज कॉल्ड अत्याहार लाइक इफ हैव यू हैव एट टू टेन लैंड्स एंड यू आर जस्ट टेकिंग मोर लैंड्स इन एवरी वेयर दैन दैट इज नॉट गुड you are just collecting lot of money lot and lot and you just making it in share and mutual fund everywhere then that is atyahar ye uttahar ka category it is comes in it comes in the category of atyahar like pehle wala charcha mein aaya like i have told previously that he is actually eating very less those who is not greedy and who is just getting victory over his jiva but after that there is one uh, this is a very small book ye chhota sa kitab hai na upadesha yes upadesha amrit is a very small book it is not a big book it is just a small book shudra is very small uh, upadesh aur ek shudra book and this kitab ka andar in this inside this small book to give a repeated uh, discussion of one was to is not good at all it is not at all possible because it is a small book and whatever which are we are just discussing it is not possible that again and again that which are will be discussing again and again so this is wrong so goswami goswami and guru var gaul they are speaking they have just taught us that actually this satyahar what prabhupa told that to that object uh, where you are taking uh, uh, more than your capacity that it is not at all useful up till that point but still you are taking more and more that is called atyahar to just uh, money money you are just collecting crores and millions and millions of rupees and in your lap and again you are just collecting fir going again to the foreign country and again you are just collecting money so they are not getting nibriti from all this so it will come in the category of atyahar definitely it will come in the category of atyahar because prabhupada had told it a lot of times that if you just collecting lot of money lot of earth that is not the target of my life if it is not required up till that point like pratishtha log and lab puja pratishtha all it is, i don't want to get uh, into my life more that is not my actual target of my life to collect all this artho bitto pratishtha sangroh kara amader jibone uddeshyo noy If actually we will just collecting more than our capacity, that money, lab, pratishtha, and everything, then uh, that distress will not go. That anxiety will not go from our material mind. It will go on, and every time it will go on inside our mind. So, just uh, having all this land and property, whatever you are taking more than your required capacity, then it will be pratikul for your bhakti. and that will be dangerous for krishna bhajan as well so you have millions and millions of rupees still that uh, that is not getting uh, out from their mind they are just taking more and more money so that comes in the category of atyahar to take more money clothes i have seen actually one sanyasi actually i will not speak his name he is actually lot of clothes is with him he has actually he after 10 years he has just opened his almira and they he has so much clothes so much clothes in his almira then he said that he just uh, you know uh, selling those clothes then uh, you can give some donation to the clothes to someone why you are selling i asked him i that brahmachari told that maharaj actually he is my god brother and uh, before 10 to 12 years i was just there was so much uh, clothes there and they just uh, sold all those clothes because uh, without money they don't know anything they actually those someone has actually has just uh, they are giving 10 rupees and 20 rupees at that time 
10 12 years back they have just uh, they have just uh, sangra a lot of money inside their almira and they are just putting it in the money <laughs> and uh, they are actually that uh, insects are uh, just uh, uh, eating those uh, money money notes that's 50 rupees 100 rupees all these actually these kind of notes are actually just like insects are eating those money <laughs> that money is there so this is the kind of situation now so that is called actually atyaha. just to take you are at you are taking uh, uh, you are actually just collecting lot of food stuffs from outside and you are just collecting it and storing it and the as well as the clothes you are taking and collecting and storing it so that is actually called atyahar whatever it is uh, if you are collecting more and more then actually it is it is uh, atyahar if it is going beyond your adhikar that's ati adhikar that you are collecting it more than your capacity so in uh, general actually rupa swami pad actually speaking this uh, in this small book of updesh amrit Ma, Bora, uh, he, uh, Rupa Swami is not repeating uh, two things, uh, one thing again and again. Not to collect a lot of things. This is actually called Atyahar. Ahar means to eat, but here Ahar means not eating, just to collect just to collect and store and in, and in materialistic uh, things in order to get that materialist who, which don't have any relationship with bhakti to get to to give more and more efforts towards the material things so that you can get those material things which have no connection with bhakti and just to get those uh, material things with your efforts lot of efforts that is called niyamagraha uh, and whatever rules and regulations Niyamagraha means what do you mean by prajalpa prajalpa means jalpa prajalpa adijalpa there are a lot of categories of this jalpa here prajalpa means that not to not to just listen to not to remember and just not to hear the Bhagavad Katha and just to speak all rubbish material Katha and just discussing that. Just to speak all rubbish material talks. That is called Prajalpa. That is called Vitha Vakya. That is Prajal. There is no. Uh, no Nityata in that. And. And you are just giving more attention to your uh, rules, what you have made. A lot of uh, respect and attention, careful attention are given to one particular uh, uh, rules, what you have made. To just give careful attention to, to one kind of uh, rules, it is just for just making more and more bhakti to you. Why you are making rules and regulations? You are making different kind of Shastri Guru you know, just to make, just that uh, Bhakti can get uh, activated inside your heart. It is just to get that actual Bhakti inside your heart uh, or nothing else. But uh, when you are actually, uh, if you are actually just uh, making uh, that rules and regular last 10 to 15 years, year, 10 to 15 years, and now that devotee has just got his Adhikar a bit up, in his uh, up avastha like what now what what that basic name he was following previously and he is just uh, just uh, following that uh, uh, rules and regulation then what that rule regulation is of uh, is, is is it of any work uh, no a rule these rules and regulations are just uh, actually making him love uh, mother and father and you are just making it everything in your life but it is not like that if you are just making more and more rules and regulations in your Shastri Guru and regulation in your life, that Goswami log actually, Goswami, uh, Goswami is actually speaking, that suppose some uh, some devotee is getting a big adhikar in his uh, uh, bhakti line now, and he is getting a more uh, 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 nice adhikar in his, 
uh, and now gurudev actually now speaking that now you have to do this kind of seva now now don't do this what you were doing previously now what he is doing he was actually what he was actually doing before 10 years you just have to do now now actually he is thinking that this is actually the previous rules and regulations i will give more attention to that rather than what guruji told now but gurudev have told now you have to follow these rules and regulations but actually he is just concentrating on the previous rules and regulations what uh, what actually have uh, 10 years before he was just uh, following so he is just making more concentration on that that is called actually niyam agraha in in anyone's bhajan someone is get agragati and he is actually just uh, uh, hearing uh, bhagavad katha i am just giving you an example just uh, you will find very useful like someone is getting uh, uh, up adhikar upward adhikar his adhikar is getting up day by day that he is actually getting his uh, mind in uh, shravan and kirtan of bhagavad seva of bhagavad katha and uh, uh, somewhere in front of some maharaj who is actually a realized soul he is actually speaking hari katha and after that what happened then uh, actually the time is done now actually it is a time of aarti so i have to go in the aarti then he don't know actually that the what you are actually doing going for aarti you are just sharing bhagavad katha that is not different from each other that is not at all different param pooja ban madhav goswami maharaj also has given this uh, example also because i am the son of madhav goswami maharaj in hari katha madhav goswami maharaj was just speaking hari katha and one pujari actually just uh, went there just doing uh, aarti there and madhav goswami maharaj just uh, saying that okay please uh, don't be stop uh, just stop there don't do puja i it is also done in my life as uh, well uh, like uh, in the jagannath temple i was just speaking hari katha for 5 10 minutes more and that pujari just become very angry with me because the pujari is saying oh it's the time of our aarti why you are actually speaking hari katha then i told him that you are actually in the family of madhav goswami maharaj na but madhav goswami maharaj actually speaking like this that if you somebody is speaking more hari katha then then actually that pujari is foolish number 1 he don't know that this hari katha is actually equivalent to millions of aarti so this is actually niyam agraha that is actually comes in category of niyam agraha niyam agraha mein niyam agraha niyam ka agraha mein in the niyam agraha niyam ka then we are making too much categorization of rules and regulations and you are just going into your previous rules and regulations and you are making it too much then how you will get inside how you will get uh, more upward more realized in the way of pathway of that bhakti that niyam agraha means is a different uh, vastu okay no, he is actually doing aarti but aarti is more uh, uh, we have to do aarti now and arti he is thinking that arti is at a bigger level than uh, hearing hari katha so actually he is giving more priority to arti rather than hearing hari katha so uh, he don't know that hari katha and doing arti is on an equivalent level they both are on an equivalent level and hearing hari katha and doing arti is all the same there is no difference at all but if a mahabhagavat bhakt is uh, speaking hari katha then he has to make sure that if is a, if there is an aarti time then he has to give priority to hari katha because hari katha is uh, crores and million times uh, uh, millions of aartis it is equivalent to that then he is getting a lot of uh, in doing hari naam all the time in deep and uh, before that actually he actually used to follow all those rules and regulation and whatever rules regulation he used to follow in the bhajan if it is going here there then they, that will not uh, he will not get dosh not get aprad in that that all those big big uh, uh, devotees and sadhus in their life apparently apparently in their life externally you can see that they uh, they can't do bhajan what they were uh, like like they were not doing tulsi parikrama and they are not doing mandir parikrama or something like that etc but you are actually thinking that this is actually one limb of uh, from, one limb of bhakti has gone from the life of maharaj but actually you don't know those who are actually 
ऑलवेज इन रिमेंबरिंग एंड हेयरिंग ऑफ हरी कथा एंड हरी कीर्तन दैट दैट इट इज नॉट बेनिफिशियल यूजफुल फॉर देम टू जस्ट डू डीप दीप दान वॉट 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 दे विल डू बाय दीप दान वॉट दे विल डू बाय दीप दान इफ दे आर जस्ट स्पीकिंग हरी कथा रिमेंबरिंग हरी कथा एंड डूइंग हरी नाम संकीर्तन दैट इज इक्वल एंड टू टू क्रोड ऑफ दीप दान यू कम हेयर एंड डू दीप दान they are just uh, going and just doing the uh, deep dan this is actually comes in category of niyamagra deep dan is good but it is not that you just need to throw hari katha and just doing deep dan that is not uh, that comes in category of niyamagra now i have just explained about niyamagra to atyahar ka bare mein thoda kal aur charcha karenge so atyahar i will just uh, speak about more tomorrow prayasasya prayasya means to just uh, get Ishe more and more uh, attraction attraction towards material things prayas, and is making a uh, lot of efforts i will do this i will do that i will i will just make this thing this is actually prayas in uh, general actually naturally by the will of krishna by the will uh, the the will of krishna and will of devotees are equivalent the normal efforts of the bhakt actually it is equivalent to the efforts of bhagwan it is equivalent to each other so in this whatever those who are just doing extra efforts apart from that then that comes in the category of prayasch niyama gro bata diya jan sang ek jan sang means when bhakti mein thakur had already spoken about each and every item that i we will also discuss about this uh, points for the whole month we will just be discussing about this and we will be just uh, having this uh, inside our heart we the time is very less now and we have to just uh, i have to give uh, i just need to speak up till now what shlok i have just uh, spoken today i have just given the interpretation of that here actually bhagavad dasra bhagavad das prarthana actually all those devotees speaking to bhagwan दिस इज एक्चुअली दिस एक्चुअली ऑल द डिवोट इज एक्चुअली विद द वेरी हम्बल एंड डिस्ट्रेसफुल मूड आर जस्ट स्पीकिंग अबाउट दैट विद भगवान अबाउट विद फुल हम्बल एंड भक्ति मूड लाइक देवाहूति जी एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू भगवान का पिल जस्ट सिमिलर पॉइंट शी इज ऑल्सो टेलिंग दिस एक्चुअली स्पोकन बाय कुलशेखर कुलशेखर ऑल्सो बिग डिवोटी ऑफ भगवान दे आर एक्चुअली देवाहूति मदर ऑफ कपिल जी एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग जस्ट द सेम पॉइंट बट इन अ डिफरेंट मैनर डिफरेंट इंटरप्रिटेशन देवाहूति जी एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग actually nibritto nitaram bhuman i am just fed up nibritto nitaram bhuman i am just fed up by the pressure of my uh, sense organs sense organs all my sense organs all my sense organs i am very much nitaram bhuman asat indriya tarsana getting uh, fed up asat indriya gram by all these uh, material things because eyes are asking something else and my ears are something else material things and the tongue is asking different 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 directions to take taste different different kind of objects the same thing what prahlad maharaj also told that what prahlad maharaj this is actually all the same what devoti ji mata also speaking so also devoti what actually speaking is similar what prahlad maharaj is speaking i am actually getting fed up of all this by just continuous because my condition is very first now just by by all my material sense organs they are actually just actually becoming thirsty i am actually just getting fired up i am just getting burned up with all these thirsty desires of my material sense organs 
बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मटीरियल सेंस ऑर्गन आई वॉट एवर दे आर आस्किंग आई एम जस्ट गिविंग अप टिल नाउ फॉर फॉर ऑल द रिक्वायरमेंट आई हैव जस्ट अरेंज इट वॉट एवर दे आर आस्किंग लाइक संभाषण महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग प्रकृति संभाषा मीन्स संभाषा मीन्स दिस वर्ड एक्चुअली लिटरली मीन्स जस्ट टू टॉक विद सम बट द मीनिंग ऑफ महाप्रभु इज समथिंग एल्स प्रकृति संभाषा मीन्स विद इंजॉइंग मूड विद सम इंजॉइंग मूड इफ यू टॉक दैट इज प्रकृति संभाषा बट इट डजेंट मीन दैट यू विल स्टॉप ऑल योर प्रीचिंग स्टफ एंड ऑल देर आर लॉट ऑफ घोस्ट इन दिस लॉट ऑफ घोस्ट इन साइड इट सो बिकॉज इन ऑर्डर टू गेट रेड ऑफ दिस घोस्ट लॉट ऑफ टाइम विल सम एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट वेन वील प्रीच वुमेन विल कम डेफिनेटली दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ महाप्रभु एक्चुअली हाउ दे कैन टेक बिकॉज दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ महाप्रभु प्रकृति संभासी मीन्स महाप्रभु एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दोज हु आर एक्चुअली प्रकृति संभाषा दोज ब्रह्मचारी सन्यासिस यू डोंट नीड टू सी देअर फेस ऑल्सो दोज हु आर दो प्रकृति संभासी माई एक्चुअली माइंड इज नॉट इन माई कंट्रोल दोस्त प्रकृति संभासी दोस्त ब्रह्मचारी सन्यासी दे आई कांट सी हिज फेस एंड हिज बॉडी ऑल्सो सो एक्चुअली आर गुरुवर को ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग आर गुरुवर ऑल्सो यूज टू टॉक श्रीधर को स्वामी महाराज ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग टॉकिंग विद वुमेन बट इट डजेंट मीन दे आर दे आर कम्स इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ प्रकृति संभासी इन प्रभुपाद ऑल्सो सम फ्रम फ्रंट ऑफ प्रभुपाद इट डजेंट मीन लाइक दिस प्रकृति संभासी मीन नॉट विद इंजॉइंग मूड विद सम इंजॉइंग मूड इफ यू आर इफ यू हैव सम पैसिव कॉन्ज इन साइड योर हार्ट एंड यू आर जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग सम ड्रामा जस्ट सेवा ड्रामा ऑफ सेवा देन दैट विल कम इन द नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन नाउ एक्चुअली दिस वर्ड एक्चुअली एवरी वन इज जस्ट मेकिंग इट इन अ फुल मिस यूज दे आर यूजिंग जस्ट मिस यूजिंग इट आई हैव इन प्रीवियसली इन पंजाब ऑल्सो हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट अबाउट दिस इन हरी कथा आई वॉज आई जस्ट वेंट देर टू स्पीक हरी कथा एंड आई एम विद विद निष्किंचन महाराज एक्चुअली आई वेंट विद हिम अलॉन्ग विद हिम विद द कार इन द कार एंड एक्चुअली कीर्तन वॉज गोइंग ऑन देयर एंड वेन आई एंड इन दैट हरी खरा क्षेत्र वेन द कार इज जस्ट वॉज देयर टू अर आई सम आई वॉज जस्ट गेटिंग सम कवाली कीर्तन हु इज एक्चुअली डूइंग कवाली कीर्तन आई थिंक सो आवर प्लेस ऑफ हरी कथा इज एक्चुअली अ बिट फार एंड ओ माई गॉड दे आर एक्चुअली दैट प्लेस सम कवाली कीर्तन इज गोइंग ऑन विद दस एक्चुअली विद दम क्लैपिंग लाइक दिस ऑल वुमेन आर जस्ट डूइंग कवाली कीर्तन ओह वेरी नाइस प्रीचिंग आई वॉज थिंकिंग इफ दिस विल गो ऑन फॉर मिलियंस ऑफ इयर दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रीचिंग then it is just like stool and urine no is not equal into stool and urine also so foolish actually those people they don't have this kind of vichar inside their heart they have don't have this kind of vichar okay no this kind is okay for millions and millions of years of this not equal into stool and urine also so dangerous it is so i am just very sorry about this i am not actually not criticize i am not at actually criticizing anyone i am just want to give you the samadhan of this so that we can just rectify the present situation samadhan karne ka vichar leke so with the with the intention of like this it is actually not criticism when uh, just you want to rectify the new situation bharti maharaj also used to speak this then it will be called bhakti not criticize criticize uh, criticism jagati shamaina karuna na trapa upashanti vancha kalpa turu sikha basindu bhavaj patitanan pavane bho vaishnavyo namo